Get ready for cargo shots from the Stat Trade Times, presented by Hattil. Here's a weekly roundup of the latest air freight and logistics news. Did you know that one of the largest air cargo hubs in Europe is about to undergo a massive transformation? Curious? Stay tuned for the details in today's episode of Cargo Shots, presented by Hacktil. This is Nehal Gautam and here are the top headlines. Challenge Groups gets IATA CEIV's Lithium Battery Certification Challenge Group has secured the IATA CEIV Lithium Battery Certification, adding to its existing CEIV Pharma and Live Accreditation. The certification comes after six months of rigorous preparation and auditing. With an estimated 1.3 million lithium battery shipments transported by air annually, comprising about 5% of air cargo, the certification is crucial for the safe transport of batteries. David Canavan, Chief Operating Officer of Challenge Group, emphasized the importance of this certification for e-commerce, noting that 70% of global e-commerce air shipments contain lithium batteries. The certification reinforces Challenge Group's commitment to risk awareness and safe handling. UPS to buy Frigo Trans to bolster healthcare logistics capabilities. UPS is set to acquire Frigo Trans and its sister company BPL, leading healthcare logistics providers in Germany, enhancing its European capabilities for temperature sensitive and time critical logistics. Frigo Trans offers a comprehensive network including temperature control warehousing covering six zones from cryo preservation to ambient, along with pan European cold chain transportation and time critical freight forwarding. The move will enhance UPS Healthcare's end-to-end services throughout Europe. Though financial details remain undisclosed, the acquisition, expected to close in the first quarter of 2025 subject to regulatory approvals, demonstrates UPS' commitment to expanding its specialized healthcare logistics portfolio. ASL Scale Asia inducts first B767-300 Boeing converted freighter into fleet. K-Mile Asia, a Thai Express cargo airline, has inducted its first B767-300 Boeing converted freighter into its fleet. This wide-body freighter is a first for both K-Mile and Thailand. The freighter arrived at Suvarnabhumi Airport on September 6, 2024 and is set to begin operations in October, connecting Thailand with Southeast Asia, China and India. The addition complements K-Mile's existing fleet of five B737 freighters, offering enhanced cargo capacity and range up to 6,105 km. Celebrating its 20th anniversary this year, K-Mile is a joint venture airline of ASL Aviation Holdings, which has a fleet of 150 in eight cargo and passenger airlines in Europe, Australia, Asia and South Africa. Latin Cargo to Triple Weekly Flights to Brussels Latam Cargo is set to triple its weekly flights to Brussels Airport from 4 to 12 starting October 27, establishing Brussels as its primary European hub. Using Boeing 767 freighter aircraft with 60-ton capacity, the expanded service will primarily transport perishables like flowers from Ecuador to Europe and return with pharmaceuticals, time-critical cargo and automotive parts to South America. This increase not only boosts Latam Cargo's European presence, but also aligns with Brussels Airport's sustainability goals. The airline plans to maximize the use of sustainable aviation fuel, supported by a federal government incentive covering additional costs. Kenyan court temporarily blocks Adani's proposal to lease Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. In a major development, the High Court of Kenya has temporarily blocked a proposed 30-year lease of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to India's Adani Group. The Law Society of Kenya and the Kenya Human Rights Commission jointly appealed to the court, arguing that Kenya could independently raise $1.85 billion needed for the upgrade. They also contended that the deal is too costly and could lead to job losses, fiscal instability and a poor return for taxpayers. The deal, aimed to modernize the airport with a new runway and terminal, has faced intense scrutiny. 
ongoing protests and demands for investment transparency led by the Kenya Aviation Workers Union have caused significant disruptions at Nairobi's main airport, including widespread flight delays, cancellations and passenger disturbances. The government maintains that Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is not for sale. This comes amid Adani's expansion efforts in Africa, following its acquisition of a stake in Tanzania's container terminal. One of Europe's largest air cargo hubs in Frankfurt is on the verge of a major transformation. Lufthansa Cargo to invest 600 million euros for modernizing Frankfurt hub. Lufthansa Cargo is investing nearly 600 million euros to modernize its Frankfurt hub by 2030. The upgrade will transform the Lufthansa Cargo Center into Europe's most modern air freight facility. Spanning 330,000 square meters, equivalent to 46 football fields, the modernization includes upgrading cargo handling facilities, storage systems and IT infrastructure. Currently, 55,000 square meter of area is under renovation, including a 42-meter high bay warehouse set to become Frankfurt Airport's second tallest building. A time capsule was sealed to mark this milestone. Alongside the hub modernization, Lufthansa Cargo is expanding its global network. The carrier's winter timetable now offers 89 weekly Boeing 777 freighter connections worldwide, an increase of seven from the summer schedule. Notably, a new Trans-Pacific flight has been introduced, connecting Frankfurt to Los Angeles via Ho Chi Minh City, marking the cargo carrier's first direct link between Asian and US markets. Thank you for joining us on this week's Cargo Shots. Stay ahead by subscribing to our YouTube channel and visiting www.stattimes.com for daily news updates. We'll see you next week with more Cargo Shots. You've been watching Cargo Shots from the Statrade Times, presented by Hacto. See you next week with more updates from the air cargo and logistics industry.